Hello everyone, I'm Leroy Reif and I'm going to show you how to make a run method using the Alice program. Alice is a three-dimensional program used in order to teach students and anyone willing to learn basic programming concepts. For this tutorial, I'm just going to come in here. After you open it, you get a blank slate. You can get some starter programs, stuff like that. For this, I'm just going to choose graph. Okay, in here, you have your basic scene set up, a bunch of uh, programming concepts and uh, stuff over here. But for now, we're going to go to set up scene because we need to pick a character. Okay, inside here, you want to go to biped classes. This has your different characters. For now, I'm just going to pick an, a standard adult. Uh, I'll do male in a suit. And no hat. And let's change the skin color just for customization. I'm going to change the name to me because this character here looks a lot like me. Okay. Now you can do some different stuff in here where you actually rotate or move, resize, so on and so forth. But for now, we're just going to go back and do edit code. And from here, I am automatically going to do a little something right here. So that way, when I run my animation, you're going to see my character turn to the right, and then we'll start. He'll start doing his walk method. Okay. Now the actual walk and run method. You want to do this first. Do what's called a do in order, and then you want to think about the different body parts that you're going to have to work together. So here we go. We got a do together block. Place that here. Now, in here. You click this here, and you come in here, and now you can grab the various body parts that we need. So first we need to get right shoulder. And okay, so if we get right shoulder, most people want to go here, and they want to do, uh, I'll just put it here, they want to do move, and what I'll say one, okay? Now if you do that, what happens is when you run the animation, you turn, and you see what happened to his arm? That doesn't really look correct, now does it? So, what you want to do is instead of move, which changes the position, you want to do what's called an orient. So you want to go here, and you grab the right shoulder. Now, since this is the exact one I need, I'm going to come in here, and I am going to move the right shoulder, turn it to the right, and for this animation, I'm going to do... Uh, this right here, okay? Now, the right shoulder move is not the only body part that's going to be used when doing a walk method, so we need to go in and get the rest of the body parts, so just follow along with me here. Let's get the right hip, click on that, go down here, again, another turn. You want to put it in the doo together, because all these body parts are moving together, okay? So, go get the right hip. And you want to turn this one backwards slightly. Uh, for this one, I'm going to put it at point, point zero eight percent Okay. Next, you want to go in and get what's called the right knee. Go get the right knee. Same process. You just want to go through and get all the different body parts. So get right knee. Click on it. Uh, go down here, do that, get right knee, and then you want to turn it forward slightly at, again, the 0.08 that I already did. You want to keep all the body parts around the same percentages. That way everything looks natural. Okay? So get the right knee. Now, we need to go get the left shoulder. Left shoulder needs to get moved. You want to turn that. Right here, left shoulder. Again, you want to turn it. So this is going to be 
slight turn different than everyone else. So left shoulder turn right. See that? 0 0.08. Keep the percentages the same. See that? Percentage is the same. All right. So we need to go get the rest of our body parts. So we got our left shoulder. We got our left hip. Uh, is next. Left hip. Go down here to turn. Place it in the do to order or the do together block. Uh, again, you want to turn that one forward because the right hip is going backwards. The left hip's got to go forward. Okay, because you're doing a walk method. So go down here and left hip. You want to put that at 0 0.08 like the rest. Okay. Uh, okay, let's make it sure. We got our right shoulder. We got our right hip. We got our knee. Left shoulder. Left hip. Okay. Next thing you need to think about is moving. Okay, you gotta have your character moving forward. So for that, you wanna go in here and just click him. Okay, you see that? Now this is where the positioning comes in. You wanna move forward. Now what I suggest to do is, is figure out how, how many spaces you wanna move forward and then you cut that in half and I'll show you why. Okay, for the sake of this, I'm gonna move forward 0.5. Okay, now what you want to do is, is in order to finish this, you want to do another do together block. Okay, again, you cut the moving forward in half. So you go down here, move forward 0.5. So now it's a one block movement. Okay, now you want your character to straighten out their joints so that way they stand back up because they did one movement forward. Now, if you've done this correctly, and everything looks fine when you run the animation. You see that? That is a typical move forward. Now that's only one step, one side. Okay? So here's what we do. Now the reason I put this in a do to order block is so now we can go here and do copy to clipboard and look at this. See this. Come down here and drag it. Alright? Pretty self explanatory. However, you want to do the other side of your body. So you have to come in here and you are literally just changing everything to the opposite of what it was on the rest of it. So you turn left, turn right, backwards, so on and so forth. Everything is the exact opposite. You see that? This is always the same because you're still moving forward. Now let's check everything. Okay? Uh, shoulder went left. Hip forward, right knee needs to go backwards, okay, because everything up here is the same. So right, backward, forward, left, forward, backward, left shoulder is going left, backward, okay. Now if you run the animation, he should do a full walk method. Step, step. See that? Everything's perfect. He's walking right off the screen like we wanted to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him a little bit by using my arrow keys. So that way, he doesn't walk all the way off the screen the next time. Okay? So I just used my arrow keys on the keyboard, and I moved him. Okay? Now, that was a walk method. Okay? Now, how do you make it into a run method? Well, this one's actually very, very easy. You need to go in here and just add a detail. Okay? You change the duration. Now, different durations will give different speeds. For the sake of it, I'm going to do a duration of 0.01. And I'm going to do that for every single movement. 0.01. Okay? Changing the duration, like I said, will change the speed. You can actually slow a... Uh, a movement down depending on the value that you place in here or you can speed it up now by what I'm doing I'm going to be speeding up the program speeding up the program See that 
literally going to do this for every single step. Honestly, what you could do if you wanted to is once you got to this part right here and you already have everything set up, you could take this, delete this, and then place another copy and paste, and then just move all your values here. But I'm not going to do that. I already have everything in place, so I'm just going to go through and just manually place in all the durations all the way down through each one of my program steps. So you can actually see me doing the whole process. a lot faster if I could actually click on the right stuff a little quicker, but I am using a mouse pad on my laptop, so please bear with me. So before you saw that we had made a basic walk method. Well now after I change all of this, all the durations, you will find that our walk method is now a run method. And that my friends is how you do a run method. See that? Everything works correctly. Thank you for coming and uh, watching my tutorial. I hope you found it educational. That is it, my friends. Goodbye.